Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we're gonna be doing my very first game of Weekend League over here on Zerks 2 Now I may have some other Weekend League games this week as well. I'll just kind of have to see. I know I kind of try to do like all the regular card gameplays over here but I'm also gonna try to mix in some Weekend League games and we'll see how it goes. Prediction? To be honest, it's kind of hard to predict how many wins I'm going to get, especially with how bad, like, zones are right now. Like, it's really bad. And I am pretty scared. I hope it doesn't happen. But with, like, the next-gen Xboxes, I know it's not just because of Madden. I know it's also be, it happened to me, like, on 2K before as well. Sometimes the Xbox shuts off. So I am pretty scared it's going to happen mid-game. I would guess because I feel like I'm playing pretty decent in the game right now, I would get 18 to 19 wins. I'm probably not going to make top 100, but we'll see. Now, I do want to give a shout-out to Rhythm for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout-out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, to Notification Blonde, and comment down below, Nota Gang. And with that being said, guys, let's get into this. Looking to take your game of Madden 22 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden Pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. All right, so we found a match in about two seconds. And I do not know our opponent, but that is my top three right there. Cam Chancellor, absolutely maxed out. Check out the channel if you guys want to see gameplay with him. Oh, boy. Now, one thing that I've noticed about Weekend League from all the years that I've played it is that, like, the first 10 games or so, when you're playing Weekend League, you may not face people that have the greatest team or are even, like, the highest skill. It's really, like, after those first, like, 10 games or so, you start to face, like, a lot better teams and a lot higher skill. Can we get out of our wake outfits? All right, fourth down and three coming up. Let's see who gets open. Yo, he's blitzing. He is so blitzing me right now as we're going to have B open underneath. Evan Hester first down. So you guys did see his top three, but I will say his top three, those aren't always the best players on someone's team. That's basically just the top three players that actually have abilities on them. So is his team a lot better than that? His team seems somewhat decent as Kittle really didn't catch that. I was just trying to chuck it up. I was really just trying to chuck it up there and see if we could get a crazy catch. And uh, yeah, you guys saw, didn't get the crazy catch. Now his team though, he does have Josh Allen. He's got Kyle Pitts, Brandon Marshall. So you can see he's got a lot better players than players with abilities. Oh no, I just got stuck in man coverage. I'm on Kyle Pitts. That's not going to be open pick six that. Oh, oh, he's going to throw that. Is he not going to throw it? Oh, back across the middle. No way did he just catch that. Nope, nope, nothing's open. Morig, yes, let's go Trevon with the INT. That's that acrobat right there. Absolutely have to have that. I'm gonna go back to the run game, yo, see if we can get some decent blocks. Cut right through here, Ladanian Tomlinson, and no one is gonna catch up to LT in the open field here. All right, so we're up seven nothing now as, oh, to be honest, I thought it was gonna be a corner route. All right, so we gotta watch out for Kyle Pitts. Obviously, he is an absolute beast out here and that time it is going to be a corner but i'm looking out across the middle nothing's open i do have a qb contain set up because this guy just loves to scramble right now so i'm trying to stop him from scrambling as he's gonna run the football here pick up a first down let's see if he goes back to the run once again i do have a qb contain set up i'm using on cam let's see what he's gonna go to it's a play action looking out for pits and that's exactly where he's going his cup how did he just juke me out? Somehow, Kyle Pitts just didn't get tackled there. Oh, I wanted to get a hit stick. I wanted to try to get a hit stick there so bad as I kind of just got stuck on the D-line, but we get the sack with Cam. All right, so we've got the ball now with a minute to go, and we got to try to make our way down the field here and get a TD as we're going to have the running back open, LaDainian Tomlinson. Ah, oh, break a tackle, man. All right, second down coming up. Once again, we're going to have LT open versus D-Ware. Tried a little move on him, but he just kind of missed. And he tackled us there. Okay, down to the 48-yard line. We do have 48 seconds left as well. Oh, I really wanted to try to throw that to Hester. We're going to have Ladini and Tomlinson open underneath. Maybe try to make some miss. I don't want to fumble. And only 20 seconds left. I do still have a timeout, though. We could use that. And I could try to... Oh, I, could, I definitely could have tried to throw that one. All right, so we've got 14 seconds left here. I do have one timeout. I'm okay with taking my three points if I have to, but... Brandon Marshall, one-on-one, -on -one, and B. Marsh just dropped it. Hester, please get open on this. We've got him. We've got him. Devin Hester. Devin Hester, use your speed. Hester with the TD. All right, so we are up 14-7 to 7 here, and uh, 
There may have been a little bit in that first half. Maybe you guys didn't get to see. There was uh, a little bit of activity going on. Maybe a lot of bad throws by me. Don't worry about it. Maybe me and my opponent both had three interceptions in that first half, or uh, maybe we didn't. The world may never know. Only me and my opponent would know, as that's honestly a pretty good throw right there, Devin Hester. We contains just really do not seem to be working right now. Like, I have D-Ware and Von Miller on the edge, and still he's able to just scramble outside the pocket make that play Moreau. Fabian Moreau, you've got to make that play right there. I'm looking out for him, and he's not going to throw it now. QB contained it up that time. Stopped him. Thank you, QB contained, for actually working, as I'm going to look out for Kyle Pitts. He's going to try me. Cam Chancellor with the INT. Hopefully, I still have got a decent user, and obviously having Cam Chancellor is... Uh, Gonna help a lot with my user as Kittle's breaking free. You're gonna try to truck over him. Kittle don't even have to truck over him. Just miss the tackles. All right, so third and 10, my opponent is sending a blitz in me. But I'm gonna block Kittle, block LT. So we should be able to stop the blitz. And Hester is gonna be wide open to pick up that first down. Try to swerve inside there and come between them. My opponent can definitely be my guest to run a bunch of blitzes versus me. Because I will easily... Pick that apart. Once again, Devin Hester wide open. All right, down to the five. I don't want to make a dumb play. So I am going to run the football here. Get some decent blocks on the left side. LT, touchdown. So in this situation, I'm feeling pretty confident. You know, coming to the end of the third quarter here. And, I mean, there's only 20 seconds left. We're up by 14. All right, so starting off this fourth quarter, I'm feeling pretty confident here as he's about to go deep on me. Adderley. Adderley. Get the pick, man. All right, fourth and four coming up. If we stop him here, it's probably game at this point with, you know, only three minutes left here in the entire game as he might have had pits open there, and he does have pits. And that's Ed Reed, like, fully powered up. Ed Reed with Acrobat there, and he just, he can't even stop that as doesn't really look like anything's open. That's gonna be complete. All right, third down and 10 coming up. Let's see if we can get some pass rush. Can we get maybe a sack out of Aaron Donald or Michael Strahan, perhaps? That'd be beautiful. As he's trying to go deep in the middle of the field. And thank you for picking that off. I thought it was about to just drop incomplete there. We're going to be down around the 50. And at this point in any game, I am definitely just going to start running the ball here. Try to chew clock a little bit. We get some decent blocks. Hit the edge. And I'm going to put on a conservative ball carrier as well. Second and three here. We're just going to run the ball to the right side. Running a little stretch play. Hit the edge with LT and try to you got the safety. All right, third and nine coming up. I am going to pass the ball here, and LT is going to be wide open in the flats. I'm going to try to make a miss. Whatever. That's the game. We did end up coming away with a W here in our first game. My opponent didn't have the absolute greatest team, and I definitely didn't play the best. I'll tell you that. But he didn't have an absolutely terrible team. He had Brandon Marshall, had Kyle Pitts, had some pretty good players, didn't have the greatest team, so only winning 21-7. Don't feel the greatest about that because I'm going to face a lot better teams throughout Weekend League. But we did come away with a W. Can't be upset about that. Hopefully, guys, you did enjoy the video, though. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more Weekend League gameplays over here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.